Hey guys, welcome back to another episode from Tarantulas in the Wild. My name is Martin from Bird Spider CH and in this episode we're going to look for a really amazing tarantula species here in Chile. So the last episode you saw a atlas species tiger from the northern part, region 4, and just a few kilometers down the road we stopped another time in this ecological park here, right next to the sea actually, and we were looking for Euatlus truxolentus. And Euatlus truxolentus is a name or a species most of you might have heard of or you already keep them as pets, but I'm almost 100% sure that the majority of them is wrongly identified. And uh, the species we're going to look for is uh, known under the name as uh, Euatlus species blue femur or Euatlus pulcherima classi species blue femur. So wish us luck and we'll try our best to find them. Awesome guys, that's just amazing. We found a juvenile specimen of Euatlus truxolentus and it has this amazing looking blue femur shine and uh, of course the green catapax. So it's an awesome looking species and I'm very happy to have found this one here in Chile in the nature. It's, uh, it, was, it was on my bucket list actually and together with Euatlus or Flixotrichus vulpinus this is the species I wanted to see the most here in Chile. So quite happy to have found this one. Uh, we're still searching for an adult female and uh, got some close-up macro shots of this one and we'll show you the detailed color and the markings of this awesome looking specimen. So see you then! So we just found an, a mold, exuvia, of an adult female and uh, just about two meters next to this mold we found a big hole uh, with an egg sac in front of it or more likely right next to it. So there should be some around, some Euatlus truxolentus and uh, hopefully we're going to find them. That would be amazing. So we're still searching, continue our search in this area and uh, let you guys know if you'll find anything. All right guys, so walking the pathway of this forest reserve to show you some of the habitat from the ground and not from the drone field of view. So everywhere you have these rock boulders and of course 
course a lot of scrub forest and basically just between these uh, bushes you'll find rocks or piles of rocks where you have to look closer for them and uh, actually this would be a typical plant when you're in Brazil looking for some Paristopelma so actually when you want to see them or when you see some wild footage of Paristopelma just check Andrew Smith's documentary from 1640 Brazil which they looked for some Lasiodora species and also did find some Paristopelma in these bromeliads but uh, back to Chile this is the environment we'll find Iwatlus truxolentus in and actually we're quite close to the sea so just about 300 meters you're going to see the sea yeah so I actually did say earlier that we're in the region 4 of Chile but uh, we left it already so we're right now in the region 5 and the species Eotlus truxolentus in the region 5 does have uh, blue femurs um, but there is also another form of this species which is more in the northern part in region 4 where the, blim where the femurs should uh, be green so this is actually a documented um, morphological difference of these two forms and in this region as I mentioned we're looking for the blue form and uh, yeah regarding the species level or the species itself Eotlus truxolentus actually is one of the oldest species in Chile there are not many newly described species so yeah they're known for quite some time and uh, awesome guys we found an adult female uh, Oyatlus truxolentus here in Chile and uh, quite amazing to have found a bigger specimen we found already a small one but uh, this one is for sure adult and uh, you can still see the blue femurs and uh, awesome so they really keep the colors even though um, this one most likely needs a new skin or a mold so uh, hopefully we'll find some other specimens as well maybe some smaller ones maybe a big male we don't know yet so we'll continue our search but first we'll get a few macro close-up of this uh, specimen and we'll show you the habitat where we found the spiders it's actually quite interesting so as you can see here is a pile of rock actually just loose rocks and just between these rocks we found the specimen so actually we lifted some of the rocks and it's all totally loose but uh, even though just between this, uh, these loose rocks we found her so this is the native habitat of Eoatlus truxolentus just in case you need some inspiration for your tank at home okay guys so you're actually lo looking at a adult female of Eoatlus truxolentus and all the hairs you see on the carapax and of course also on the uh, abdomen are urticating hairs urticating setae which this species uses for yeah their defensive mechanism and uh, yeah we basically found the specimen like this so she did not flick hairs at all but uh, surprisingly the hairs were all over the body so it could be that she potentially is building a exec uh, very soon and uses the hairs for the protection of the exec itself so we have released it afterwards on the, the same pile of rock as we found her and hopefully um, yeah 
someone else is happy to see her in the near future. That was it from today's episode. Uh, if you liked it, leave a comment below, uh, thumbs up the video, subscribe to the channel, whatever you like to do. And uh, we see each other next week.